And deep clones are a bit different from, from, uh, from shallow clones. So over here, we're going to copy the metadata and the data as well. So this one is pretty straightforward. You can specify the version you're going you're gonna to deep clone. But the good thing is going to create a new, uh, new delta log, which is good. And when should I use, for example, deep clone? Let's see, for example, let's suppose you want to do some data archiving. For example, you're doing a lot of modifications on a specific table, but the regulation specifies that you need to keep a snapshot every, uh, every month. So what you can do, instead of having to keep this copy, like those, all those different versions, you can just, for example, deep clone the latest version on, I don't know, at the end of each month. Or if you want to, for example, clone the table, like copy the table to put it somewhere else in another catalog or schema, you can do, uh, you can do clones. And they are super, super uh, efficient. And I think it's really a great way to leverage uh, those two features, shallow clone and uh, Delta Lake clones. And of course, the APIs in the screenshot, like with C, can use it with SQL and, uh, and Python as well. Yeah, I think the other thing too that's interesting, like outside of like data archiving and like um, just kind of data mi uh, migration itself, um, for people who have to do anything with like legal hold, uh, legal hold is also another nice thing for deep cloning because you can take a snapshot of exactly what the table looks like at that point in time, go move it over into you know, your long-term storage for like the seven years for legal hold, and then continue to move on with your life, um, removing data from that table as if, you didn't actually have to you know, keep track of anything else for legal hold.